In this video, we will see how uh, to use ChatGPT's free version to enhance your teaching practice, whether it's for translating content or generating lesson plans. First, open your web browser and navigate to chatgpt.com or chat.openai.com. You will need to either sign in or create an account if you don't have one from this sign up option. It's free and pretty straightforward. It says if you log in, you can try a little more advanced features. So it's always good to sign up if you don't have an account or if you have an account, just log in. It's pretty straightforward. Let's click on sign up. You can log in with your Gmail or Microsoft or Apple account. So now I logged in. Let's start with translation. If you have any text in your lesson material that you need to translate, you can simply input the content into this box over here. So it's asking you where should we start. Okay, so you can ask to create an image code or analyze an image or you can even brainstorm or more options are given. But let us try with our translation. Let's type in our request or you can call it a prompt. For example, let's say you want to translate a sentence into French. Okay, let's say translate following sentence into French. Students, today we will learn about photosynthesis. Okay, let's see what it gives. So I just typed my request or a prompt and then I hit enter. Or you can use this small arrow button, uh, up arrow button here on the right hand side. And it gave me the translation. So it can even uh, read aloud for you. You can copy this and you can uh, uh, respond to this response whether it is good or bad. You can even try other languages too. Just specify the target language in your request in the prompt. Translate the following sentence into whichever language you want and give the sentence and it will give you the options. Now let's explore how uh, chat GPT can help you uh, to create some to generate some lesson plans. Let's uh, type a detailed prompt or a request here. For example, create a lesson plan for uh, 30 minutes biology. Let us uh, be specific biology class on photosynthesis uh, for whom we have to provide for whom you are targeting for uh, high school students and we can also be more specific uh, saying include learning objectives and uh, what else you will have activities learning activities and a final assessment okay prompting is the key always like uh, the request that we give to this uh, machine is the key how however uh, we are a uh, specific right how specific we are that detail the response will be most of the times uh, it will give us a uh, a kind of uh, outline uh, then definitely we need to uh, really edit it to suit our requirements let's see how it can uh, give us what kind of a response let's press enter or use this arrow key i'm clicking on this up arrow key far right okay here is our lesson plan on photosynthesis for high school students for 30 minutes Clearly, it gave grade level, subject, duration, and topic. And uh, here are the learning objectives and materials needed, and so on and so forth. So, also, we can expand on certain sections, right? For example, you can take any one section and you can ask to create an interactive activity. Or can you modify this lesson plan for middle school students? Something like that, we can definitely ask let's wait uh, for the response to finish
So here is the entire plan. It already gave a interactive activity, a group activity. If you want to convert this to using any other tool, so you can request like, for example, if you want to create an interactive activity uh, based on a photosynthesis for HPIP and what kind of a activity that it can generate, even that you can ask in this request or a prompt, it can generate those activities maybe that suits your requirements so this is about how you can uh, utilize chat gpt uh, to generate uh, our uh, lesson plans or any other educational uses for example discussion questions summarizing reading materials and even creating quizzes you just have to ask very clear and specific instructions we have to give so remember to review and adjust uh, the detailed response that you got it's always important to suit your students and classroom context it's just a tool to support but not to replace a teacher so your expertise and as, as an educator is always important so once you generate these you can always start a fresh one by clicking on this new option on the left hand side or uh, say that you want to share this response with someone you can always use this button here share chat and you can share uh, this chat as a link to with others for example if you log out and log in again what happens to your previous prompts or previous requests let us see i am logging in again with my gmail account you can see on the left hand side your uh, previous prompt or a request it always depends upon the kind of plan you have here is an option to upgrade your plans we are using a free version remember also there are two buttons over here chat gpt to start with something new chat or explore gpts to explore other gpts so remember this is just a tool to support you but this is not to replace the teacher